So what does Paul say in 1 Corinthians 15? If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hoped in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all men. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. That is, as Christ was raised, the first fruits, so we shall be raised. We shall be like him in his, we were like, like him in his death. We shall become like him in his resurrection. As in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. This is great from John Updike. The first time I read this, I thought, wow. I don't know about other aspects of John Updike's life, but boy, was he on target here. Here's what he said. Of course, a great writer. Make no mistake, if he, that is Jesus, rose at all, it was as his body. If the cell's dissolution did not reverse, the molecules re-knit, the amino acids rekindle, the church will fail. Let us not mock God with metaphor, analogy, sidestepping transcendence, making of the event a parable, a sign painted in the faded credulity of earlier ages. Let us walk through the door. Believe it or not, but don't turn it into something else. He grows or he did not. If he did not, our faith is in vain. Our lives are in vain. He did. That's the testimony of Scripture with all of the eyewitnesses that are brought to bear, one time more than 500 at a time. It is this, the perishable and mortal, which puts on that, the imperishable and the immortal. Likewise, it is we, the very same people who walk this earth, who will walk the new earth. And so we, not something which sort of used to be us, will be with the Lord forever. The self-same bodies of the dead, this is the Westminster Larger Catechism, 1647. The self-same bodies of the dead, which were laid in the grave, being then again united to their souls forever, shall be raised up by the power of Christ. I love that expression, self-same bodies. it's, It's saying, no, don't think of it like, okay, you die, and your body's dead, and then now you, the soul, are given this new body that has never before existed. No, he's going to take those molecules. Somehow he's going to reassemble them. I've actually had conversations with people say, yeah, but those are all part of the ecosystem now. I mean, if somebody died thousands of years ago, all I can say is no problem for God. And the other thing that I would say about it is they have found DNA in uh, the, um, the tombs of the pharaohs, the mummies. They've got DNA. Okay, so DNA, if we had the ability to do it, which of course we don't, you could reconstruct an entire person based upon just the DNA. A DNA that is unflawed, a DNA that's free. Not that that matters to God, not that he needs to do that, but I'm saying that's what he said. He's going to raise up the old body. So, so what if it's part of the ecosystem? It's no longer even in a grave because it died so long ago and it's completely decomposed. It's not going to be a problem for God.